Hello everyone, this is the YouTube channel of Veronica Seban about personal development, mindset, business coaching, business development uh, and NLP coaching transformation. I'm a transformational coach. So today uh, topic is um, how to set goals and to achieve uh, your your purpose and many of us so we are dreaming about something but um, most of the time it seems to to be unachievable or quite difficult to to create the possibilities yeah and uh, of course the budget because everything what we want to realize it costs money and the biggest issue is there about yes to how to finance our dream and to to achieve our goal uh first of all is your motivation yes and your biggest why why do you want to achieve it how and how important is that for you that are the key questions or the core questions that will contribute to the realization of your uh, dream and so just um, take a pen and paper and make notes what do you want to realize why and how these are the three uh, core questions before you start to to set goals and then to to achieve your your goals to can realize your dream make an um, action plan for yourself and and to get clarity how are you gonna uh, approach so the the process of realization of of your goal it's like for example uh, i'm a business and nlp coach and at the beginning i was struggling how to get as much possible clients yeah and of course if you are not familiar with coaching and if you don't have enough uh, network and connections so it's quite difficult then you have to apply for advertising in different countries and to to build up a funnel uh, with your uh, program or strategy it depends on what you want to offer so in this case is the same if you want to 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 achieve your goal it depends on what you you want to achieve yes that's the the, the primary and the important uh, uh thing what do you want to achieve through your goal okay so you have an action plan what why how and then there is the budget uh, so you have before to now how much money do you need to invest so uh, to achieve your your goal to realize that and for example if you if you want to to create an online program why i recommend to you is just to analyze your skill skills and abilities um I'm very creative. I'm an incredible creative person in creating things. Uh, and I have a very sharp eye, an incredible uh, sharp eye for details. And so even if it, it concerns my website, so and or the spelling or the design, the layout and, and how to to create an attractive layout so i can do it by myself so it means that to create my website i need only a web developer who is gonna help me um, to work at the technical aspects and then i'm the only one who will um, 
take care of the copywriting and and the the right design yes and of course the uh, the pages and the the name of the, the the pages and to create as well the programs to can help you out like i'm doing right now um uh, i'm giving you this example to help you out how to set the goals and how to create the goals yeah and along the way um you have also to be aware uh, of how much time will cost it to uh, to achieve your goal just because a lot of people they are impatient and because they don't have an action plan plan they stop along the way but that's not uh, um, that's not effect effectful because so along the way you you get demotivated because you aren't prepared before you started and this is a, a very effective uh, way to to can achieve uh, your goal and to don't stop because before you start to to set the goal and to to start to apply your action plan you have to prepare yourself mentally as well yeah and to be clear to start and to to go straight to to the point i mean just to be very convinced and motivated to to realize that and so like i said uh, again what why and how and then your budget and 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 how much time will take that to to create that and that's that's only the beginning but you have as well you have as well to uh to analyze your skills you have as well to analyze your skills uh and and in this case i i recommend to you to to use the uh, time time management um, matrix um, how important is your why uh, and so what is uh, you have to prioritize so learn to prioritize by the good goal setting why you have to do uh, first of all like step by step and when you prioritize every single step it it motivates you to go ahead to move forward and to to keep uh, do that and to don't stop uh, long long the way you know because a lot of people because they are not clear they don't have clarity uh, about how to realize this goal so they give up and that's why you need a, a very strong why motivation and an action plan and awareness to the preparation before you start to to now all your costs and because if you have a, a goal for example how i told it uh, previously about my website uh, that i knew already what are my my skills my uh, capabilities and if i know that i can take care uh, for the copywriting and for the design and another things like uh, i'm the person who creates the the programs the uh, business and nlp coaching programs then i know that i don't have to pay someone else yeah but in your case if you know that you are good at one two or three things and the another one you cannot do it so it means that you have to finance it and so it means that you have to pay someone also who will take care of the another staff to help you out to achieve your goal another important thing is um to accept uh, to accept the help of another people 
and to learn to trust the another people. How can you trust someone who you you yet don't know the person? So I can imagine that you are struggling uh, enormously. Then you ask me, how can I trust someone who I don't know? Yes, I can understand. Uh, it works um, as following. Before you um, ask someone for help, especially if it concerns your business and to, to build up something serious, ask for refuse for testimonials and projects that the person has already achieved or realized, or even collaborations, yeah, that you can see and hear that this person is truly uh, uh, good in, in, in his or her field. Um, because if you uh, will, will trust blindly someone, you take the risk to, to get troubles, uh, so struggles through, through the uh, develop, developing process when you will uh, develop the, the process to realize your, your goal and to achieve your dream, yeah? Uh, oh, through the years, I have um, truly a lot of experience, and so I accumulated through the years a lot of experience, and I learned how to select the, the right people out. That's so important. If you don't have it, this skill and this capability, then you have to develop it within yourself. Um, before I start to work with someone, first of all, I, I have always a look at the profile of the person. And then before I start, I invite the person uh, for a meeting to, to learn more about the, their skills, uh, their personal development, behavior, and everything. Yeah, because um, it must be a click between you and the other people that you can uh, work in a very flexible way, yes, to don't struggle, to don't get nervous and, uh, and, and demotivated because it can happen. We are human beings and you can having a certain expectation from the, the person. And it's in this case is also about uh, leadership so you have to to human qualities that uh, they are the most important for me in my case because so we don't have to forget our way to be as human beings yeah in any case it doesn't matter what are you doing and uh, whom are you collaborating with? That's the number one. But that's in my case, yeah? Uh, but if you will um, consider this value or if you will prioritize this value on, on the top of the list, so for yourself too, so you will achieve success. Uh, because when you are good, uh, with the people and when you you have the ability to appreciate the people then they will do their best for you to, to provide you the best quality and they will do their best while they will uh, work and because of that, so I now, because I have collaborated with truly a lot of people uh, from different countries, from all over the world. And I know, so how important it is to, to prioritize the human values and, and qualities, yeah. And to now to appreciate that because that's not nothing. When someone is doing his best or something, um you if you don't have the uh, capability to to give feedback and to don't react emotionally uh, because a collaboration consists as well from feedback yeah because no one is perfect okay i have such high expectations that it uh, um, 
previously, um, use the time management because it will help you uh, enormously uh, by using the uh, time management matrix, the things that at this moment are important and things that are uh, less important and things that for uh, for short time are important and and less important so and um, you have to divide it and just to prioritize and by this way you can get an excellent goal setting by help helping another people and yourself too to can achieve um, the the dream of of your life because that's so important especially when when you get over him because uh, too much too much stuff or that you have to to manage everything and i can imagine if you, if you have uh, lots of appointments or online meetings and um you have to create and content and to show up uh, as in my case because i have all the time incredible incredible a lot of stuff to to carrying out and uh, for example uh, i i'm sh i'm scheduling everything every single step that i'm doing even if i want to uh to improve my communication skills I'm always uh, reading books, yes, to work at my, my English skills, skills as well, because I'm not a native English speaker. <laughs> so if you notice some, some mistakes, I'm sorry for that, but I'm doing my best. And anyway, so that I'm, I'm reading books, I'm listening to webinars, to, I'm following challenges, I'm doing my best to get as much possible conversations, yeah in in english and beside that i'm scheduling everything like for example for the next two months i have set a goal that i want to achieve something i don't want to share with you this is a secret uh, but for now uh i have a deadline yes for this goal setting and i know that i to achieve this goal, I have two months time. So it means that I give to myself this time um, to learn, first of all, to, to take enough time uh, to, to learn. And then after learning, I know that I will get that, yes. And by goal settings, um, is is of the utmost importance to just to to, to give to yourself a, a deadline uh, that you know that uh, until this time that or that you need so much time to achieve your goal and that's very very uh, useful you know and it will accelerate as well yourself your movement and your action uh, actions to to keep it learning and to to keep it uh, uh, um, move yourself forward and that's the way how how i'm doing uh, with myself because uh, we are human beings and sometimes you can uh, feel demotivated or or um, emotionally you can feel broken and then uh, you you don't um have enough motivation just to move moving forward and to take massive action because it's about to to take massive action and to create consistency step by step little by little every single day is there about and that's the hardest thing you know to to uh, moving forward to create consistency uh, i'm already for today for example so by the same way, you can schedule everything every single day. So what do you want to do during one day? And by the same way to, to, to move yourself forward and, and to be fit, to, to feel energetic, 
uh, I recommend to you to walk every single day for, for half hour outside, just in the nature near water or to do some meditation for 50 minutes at least, yeah? Uh, and to rise up your energy because you are the only one who is responsible for your positive vibes and your positive energy. So when you are guiding people and you are providing mentoring and uh, guidance or coaching, you have to, to keep yourself positive. You, you are the only one uh, who takes care of, of his or her energy and positive vibes because when you are positive you are radiating your positivity so um, through your face through through your body language as well yeah so without uh, saying nothing uh, when you show up the people especially the coaches yeah so they can see that on your face on, on, on your eyes as well and in your gesticulations, yeah, too. Um, because of that, so just pay attention to, to, to the effectiveness of, of your energy and how do you use that. And because of that, it's very important to, to use the time management by the goal settings. And that's the easiest way, you know, when you are going to schedule everything every single day. Uh, because if you don't schedule it, so you will um, reschedule, reschedule uh, if you don't do that in, in your mind, I mean. But when it's, it's scheduled already, then you will... Um, Take it in account that it's on, on your agenda and that you have to do that. And that's the, the most effectful way to create consistency and to overcome procrastination. Eep. Because I know that there is a lot of people that they are struggling with procrastination. Uh, so, by every single day, but you could, uh, by the goal settings, to do it uh, like three or four days in a week, for example, if you have many things. I'm doing this too. If I know that I have too much stuff to carry out, then I'm, I'm dividing it yeah, like in blocks. Like, um, for example, today, the halab day, uh, then I will spend two to my personal development, especially in the morning. And the another half day, then I 